Hello, and we're back with the next installment in the Geometry Scripting series. This time we are making Boolean lakes. So we're going to create little lakes using the Boolean feature of Geometry Scripting, which means we're going to cut little holes into our, sha our island shapes and then put a water plane over it and go for a little swim. So you're going to want to follow along from the previous video. I'll link that down below in the description. Otherwise, we can just pick it up from here. All right, let's get started. So if we go into our Generate Islands Blueprint class, there are a few things that I changed for the sake of this project because I actually made several videos in between this and it's all mixed up. So we're just going to have to work with what we got. So basically what we changed is probably the max spawn distance. You're going to want to check that because we moved the islands and I increased the size. So probably check min base radius. That's at 600 and max base radius is 1400 now. We got a 0.7 multiplier for the cone appending. Another small difference is I deleted the walls and I moved the island blueprint over here. So it's off to the side on this side now instead of being in our map. So if you go and hit play, you'll notice that it's much taller, much smoother and much larger. And this is the shape that we've got right now. I got a couple divots here because there's some gapping there. I might fix that just by increasing the top size. We'll see. So if we go here and say, let's like maybe reduce our max spawn distance and increase our min base radius. This doesn't have to do with the tutorial, but I just want to see if we can close those little gaps. Oops. Uh. Here we go. Yeah, so now you notice those little divots are gone. That was just some gapping. There's a little bit right here, but it doesn't really matter. That could just be from tessellation noise that we'll apply later. Okay, so let's get started. We want to create a lake in our little island. And to do that, we're going to use the Boolean scripting feature, which essentially takes another geometry shape and carves it out using subtraction from the island mesh itself. So let's get started with that. It's pretty simple, but there are some things that you wouldn't know about unless you really looked into it. So first thing we want to do is create an, or is allocate a compute mesh. And this is going to be the mesh that we use to carve out the Boolean shape for our lake, which we're going to keep it simple and we're just going to create a cone. So we're going to say append cone and we're going to use that as our target mesh there. Let's say the base radius, we want it to be heavy on the top and wait, smaller on the bottom, bigger on the top. That way we get that kind of inward slope on the, it would be expected on the inside of a body of water. You know, when you go into a beach and the sand slopes, so let's say 500, we'll say the top radius is 600. And we need a transform for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our mesh and I'm going to go, I'm going to go look for the center. So I'm going to get the mesh bounding box. Let's break this. Actually, no, we can go get center box center size. And in that, that'll give us the center split our transform pin, take the center and we'll plug it into there. Um, next thing we want to do is create the Boolean. So we'll say Boolean, uh oh, not that Boolean, apply mesh Boolean in our geometry script. To slide this over. So our tool mesh is this cone we just created and we want our target mesh to be this dynamic mesh that we apply this solidify to so we can drag that in over here just move that up so you can tell that that's not the same thing double click these if you want to create little pins let's see and we need a transform for this as well if you use union it'll like combine the two shapes almost like welding them together so let's see if it shows up with union we should be able to see nope that didn't work it's because we need a transform 
So let's split this target transform and we are going to use the same center. Drag that down. Compile. Test that. Still no. Am I applying the motion? Try the tool transform. Take that, put that in there as well. Where's the tool transform location? Compile and hit play. And still no. That's very strange. Oh yeah, we have to release compute mesh. And then after that, we can plug in our UVs again, just so we have them. Let's test this. Still no dice. What is going on? Oh no. Okay, so I actually forgot to add the height. Like, whoops, that's kind of a big one. You know, let's just throw 900 on there so we know it's extra tall. We're probably gonna wanna add to the center. We'll just create a vector now. We'll just add 300 here for now. You're like, how did you get that number? It's like, oh, trial and error. But I'll do it without it just so we can see where we're at and then we can modify that there. there. Boom, there's our shape that we'll be carving with. I just put it to union so we can see it. So now if we go back and you go into the apply mesh boolean, you'll see the operation. And if you go into subtraction, you can subtract. And we jump up here and now we've got a nice little hole for our lake. I actually wanna bring that down a pinch. So, if we want to make that deeper, let's subtract. Let's go like 200. See how that looks. Too deep. That cut all the way through. We don't want to cut all the way through. Go 100 or 100. Anyway, we're not here to mess with the details of everything. We're here to get things done. Simple examples. I can delete these. This is like same thing. So now we want to create a surface. So what we're going to do to keep it simple, there's other ways you can do this, but we're going to keep it as simple as possible for the means of this tutorial. We're going to create a blueprint actor, BP, lake, surface. Go into there, we're gonna add a plane, click that. We're gonna apply a water material. So I got M water lake. You probably don't have this in your project right now. Uh, you can either get a water material or what you can do is you go into edit plugins. And if you type in water, there's this water experimental plugin feature and it has all this cool stuff you can do, but just Wait, I don't even have that enabled. Then where did I get the water plugin? That's strange. I could have sworn that was enabled in here. Where am I getting this water plugin from? Maybe it's from this other project. Okay, let's hunt this down. So you can enable that water plugin and you'll get some good water materials, but now I'm, what is going on? Now I'm very confused as to where this came from. Let's track it down. Oh, it's starter content. Okay, so don't even worry about it. I'll probably have to edit that out because that's just wasting time. Okay, so we got our lake surface. Let's do this. We'll make these 10 by 10 by 10. That'll give us a good size. And so now that we're here, we release the compute mesh. We, this is back in our Generate Islands blueprint. We want to spawn actor from class. And we're gonna say our lake surface. And we wanna feed it the transform. We'll start with the center, but again, we're gonna to wanna to add to it. Hold on, let's split that struct. Let's plug that into there. Bring this here. see how that works 
and that didn't work and the reason is because we're getting the center but we need to add this world location so if we go world location of our dynamic mesh component oh that's already there sheesh so dynamic mesh component get world location we're going to add that to our box center so that'll fix that offset and then we'll probably want to add another vertical z value but first let's check yeah so there's our lake we're going to add a little bit of z value to get that up higher so if you come here say 200 we'll hit play Oh, that's too high. Bring it down. We'll go 100. Lots of trial and error. You could tell that this is like making it up as I go. Otherwise, I would have had it all like pre-known numbers. Okay, so that's how you generate a little lake using procedural runtime generation in Geometry Script and Unreal Engine 5. It's an experimental feature, but there's a lot of cool things you could do with this, like <laughs> make a hole in a donut. Probably want to increase the scale since we have a little gap there. So we'll say in our lake surface, we'll just say like 13, 13. And here we want to make sure that we apply our mesh planar projection so we get our UVs back. Hit play. There's our lake right in the middle of the donut. So I hope you like that. I hope that helps you. I hope you had some learning experience from this using geometry script in Unreal engine 5 i got a few more ideas for more features in geometry script that we can do remember to hit that like button subscribe and follow for more updates i got more videos on the way until next time laters